Welcome to our product review of the MagnaRail Magnet Viewer and the new power supply units. The Magnet Viewer is a handy tool which everyone should have in their kit uh, and it allows you to see what is underneath your track. Uh, if you're using a road surface or a lake surface, it'll show you where the magnets are. Now the concept of magnets being viewed uh, is a variation of a 1955 tour in America and that used magnetite powder and a magic wand and that allowed you to draw uh, moustaches and beards and eyebrows and that on a, a blank face. The MagnaRail Magnet Viewer uses a similar concept and reacts to the track magnets in your chain as you pass over the system, clearly showing where they are. You can also discern whether the magnets are placed for vehicles, bikes or the larger ready-to-run cyclists <clears throat> by using the handy ruler on the side of the viewer so you can measure whether you've set the track magnets for your tandem bike or your basic bike which the tandem has a, a much wider setting than the basic bike or using the specialists like the cargo bike and ice cream seller that have three magnets per unit it just stands out so easily uh, using it. With my Crater Lake and uh, Echo Lake layouts, I also used a small round magnet that fits the X-coded chain. When you received your starter set, you'll have noticed that all the links are coded with a letter on the sprue, and the X-coded one has two round holes instead of square ones. And I used this X-link in front of my ski boat track magnet sequence to differentiate it from say a yacht or a jet ski. The dot shows up before the the square speedboat magnets uh, and they are then followed by the magnets for the skiers but as each ski boat and skier combination is different so two dots could be used uh, to indicate a particular boat and skier. It's just whatever your imagination can run to and what your needs are for your particular layout. So I recommend when ordering for the first time or reordering, put a MagnaRail magnet viewer in the cart. And as you can see by this short video to follow, it's so simple to locate your track magnets using this great little tool. Looking for is the magnets in the track with the MagnaRail magnet finder. And as we go around, oops, there we are. The two dots indicate there's the, the magnets for the cyclists. So once you've got it in your mind where it is, put away your, your uh, finder and bang, there you go. So your, your cyclist or whomever, car, whatever, is ready to roll. Very handy piece of uh, equipment. You see this one, um, which is made by Magna Rail and it has the centimetre measurements on the side if you need to out where your, your magnets are going to go. So I commend you to, to buy the MagnaRail Magnet Viewer. It's not dear, um, but a very handy tool. One of the latest additions to the MagnaRail accessories is the variable power supply and controller. Now I've done some promotions, I think in the last video, uh, advising you about it, but I thought I'd just expand a bit on it here. Um, we supply two variations of the controller, MZA19, which has a European outlet plug, and MZA20, which has a USA outlet plug. Now, I was a bit confused when Terry first talked about this. I didn't realise that the voltage actually operates from 100 to 240 volts. So it's the same transformer across the world, um, and controller but of course the different power points um, means that we've got two different power outlets uh, to attach so we have the order for the EU plug and we have the, uh, the um, USA plug but both of these can be used with the Traveller's Converter uh, which is a plug you can find at any um, cheap shop or electrical shop or even the supermarkets have them. So it's your traveler, traveler uh, converter, power converter, and it converts whatever the 
the country you're in to the plug that, that you need uh, to be able to plug your, your own equipment in. Um, what I do when I travel overseas, just as a hint, I take a power pack, an Australian power pack with me, and then I have the converter for the particular country. So I just plug my power pack into that converter, into their power point, um, through the converter, and I've got four or five of my own. So all my battery chargers and all that still use my, um, my Australian plugs. So with the two variations, um, we look at what country you're from. Uh, you can order the particular one, but if you're from another country, um, we usually just say get the European one and uh, buy a cheap converter for it. The unit is easily wired in and can be left permanently attached to your layer. As the you'll notice there's a green uh, plug uh, at one end, which is where you screw your, your wires into, but also that then pulls apart. So you can leave the wired in section permanently placed on your layout, and you can just unplug the controller and put it away. Or if you've got a unit that's traveling, uh, you can just wind it up and put it in your kit bag. And then it's just a matter of plugging it in when you set up for your exhibitions. Um, it is very easily controlled. It's only got one direction, so it just winds up from slow uh, to fast. And depending on your motor, uh, because the motors are limited, the uh, bicycle one has uh, what we call medium speed and the slider set uh, has the faster speed. But as you can see from this video, I went round to my mates Anthony's the other day and we filmed this. So the bikes go at what I call a reasonable pedalling rate uh, up to flat chat, which some people actually run their bicycles at this speed. So I don't think they've got the variable controllers uh, even on their own transformers. So it's a bit unrealistic uh, unless you're doing the, the racing bike, the sports bike. Um, so the controller, the Magna Rail controller, just gives you that, that bit of finesse uh, when it comes to getting the right speed and most realistic speed for your bicycles. Obviously cars can go faster, um, so you can just turn it up to, to suit. So the controllers, $30 Australian, uh, the Magnet Viewer, $7 Australian, and uh, very good buy. So keep watching, uh, more videos are on the way and uh, obviously without all the train shows we haven't got much to, to be able to do uh, in terms of watching the videos uh, from the shows but I'll try and get some action movies for you and I've got a very exciting uh, review coming up in the next month or so. Happy modelling, we'll catch you next time. Bye.